If a coyote were to come, he would run after the coyote, he would spit, and he would kick, and he, if he really felt threatened, he would give a high-pitched scream. And chances are that coyote will tail it out of there. And another uh, use that they, we have with the llamas is packing. So we take hikes with them and they would carry our lunch or whatever in their packs. They can carry one third of their body weight. So Daisy here would probably carry about 110 pounds approximately. Where the alpaca, they don't really carry enough to make it worth putting the packs on. Um, we also do 4-H clubs with them. 4-H is a youth organization for ages 9 to 21. And they learn different skills. Uh, they have everything from livestock clubs to uh, homemaking clubs to craft clubs. So we do a llama club with them and every summer the kids will come out to the farm each week and they'll work with an animal that's assigned to them. So when they're working with the animal, first they're gaining the animal's trust. And then um, we will do uh, fall fairs with the kids. And when we go to the fair, there's three different classes that they do. The first one is showmanship. And that is showing how they can handle the animal and get them to do what the judge wants them to do. And then the next class they do is performance. So they do an obstacle course. Now, they're not quite as good as the super dogs, I admit, but we try. And then the third class they do is costume, where we dress them up in costumes, and we do that class just for the fun of it because it's a crowd pleaser. So the judge will look how much coverage we have on the animal, how the animal tolerates it. So the reason we would do the obstacle course is um, it helps to train them and desensitize them for when we could do packing. Because when we're in the woods, they're coming across things they normally wouldn't have on the farm, such as low branches or fallen trees or water. So we do things in our obstacle course that will train them to not be afraid of those things. Like we have jumps so that Daisy here would jump over logs and not even think anything of it. Um, usually in the obstacle course we'll have a mirror where they can look at themselves and see how beautiful they are. Some of them don't like to leave that uh, certain obstacle, but that would be like if they saw the reflection in the water or something, they wouldn't be scared. So they do have a lot of uses and they're a nice animal. They're easy to care for. Like I said, we have them groomed once a year and then uh, we have to ch check their toenails on a regular basis. We may have to cut them, but that's something that we can do ourselves. We don't have to have a farrier in. And um, they, uh, they eat um, hay and they graze on the grass and then we have a special pellet that they eat. So that would basically be their diet. So does anyone have any questions about the llamas or alpacas? If not, feel free to come up and pet them and see how nice their fiber is. <laughs>